I am your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. I'm so glad to be back. I took some days off. I've not been able to do some videos because I needed to rest this body. I traveled to go and preach and um, I had the Word and Word Wisdom Conference. It was hectic. Listen, learn to love your body. Learn to protect it. Learn to rest. You will never know how tired you are until you switch off your phone to sleep. After this video, I'm going to eat. I'm going to take anti-malaria medication. I take anti-malaria medication prophylactically. I just take it without being sick. And so I hardly break down. Because some of the hotels you will sleep, you might have mosquitoes. And there are mosquitoes all over Africa. So take your medication. When I finish now, I'll check my blood pressure. I will eat. Please take care of this body. Now, I looked, I gave an assignment in the WhatsApp mentorship group that I run about the benefits of Easter apart from taking away our sins. And um, a lot of the billionaire family, as we call ourselves, members, have been sending in um, their own opinions, many of them very, very insightful. But let me just do this video and subsequent videos will follow. Number one, the curtain in the temple tore into two. It tore from top to bottom. Curtains usually don't tear from top to bottom. Coming from a very poor background, I understand how curtains tear. Some of our curtains they, they get very old, they start tearing from the bottom, but this tore from the top down. So it was a divine act. And for the first time, man could see into the Holy of Holies without dying. The Holy of Holies is a typology of the presence of God. So for the first time, man had direct access to God. We didn't need intermediaries like the priests to go into the temple again, to go and intercede on our behalf. So um, in those days, the priests went into the temple and they tied a rope, in the Holy of Holies, they tied a rope on his waist. And uh, at the helm of his garment, you had fruits, then you had bells. The bells would be jingling as he is walking. And... Um, the pomegranate fruits will be ameliorating the noise of the bells. You see, the bells represented testimony. The fruit represented the fruit of the Spirit. Don't be a Christian with only testimonies and activities and successes without having the fruit of the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit ameliorates your desire to want to overblow yourself and be noisy. So if the, if the people no longer heard the, the bells ringing, they will tug on the rope. And if there is no resistance from inside, they will pull the priest out because no man could enter inside without dying or being harmed. So, but for the first time, man could have direct access to the Holy of Holies. So today, people like us, should not superintend ourselves over you as if we only us have access to God. No, you have direct access to God. You can pray God will hear. You can ask God will give to you. You can discuss with God. I've told you several times, I have never been to a Bible school, but I lecture in Bible schools. When I got born again, I told God, teach me personally. And he has been teaching me personally. He speaks to me. It will look, sound arrogant, but I hear from him in my spirit. And so, just like the woman with the issue of blood, which was a typology of what we are saying, she did not need intermediaries like Peter to take her to Jesus Christ. She went directly and touched the helm of the garment. And she set her agenda at home before power drained onto her. Now, learn to have an independent relationship with God. 
learn to study the word of God on your own. With modern phones, you can easily type something you don't understand and it will, the, the phones will explain to you various versions, various opinions. You will see lectures that people have given concerning that topic. Stop looking at us as idols that is evil against God, idolatry. When you place a man between yourself and God, is idolatry. All these uh, Dr. Pokey, Papa, my wife, Mama, and all those things, they offend God. They offend God. They call no man father. The reality of the... People call me or say, I agree, I'm old enough to be their fathers, biological fathers, a lot of them. But the truth of the matter, respect is different from reverencing a man to replace God. Try and have a personal relationship with God. Try and hear from him. Try and pray. It is true that for yourself, it is true that we pray for one another. That is um, when we synchronize, we harmonize. And um, when we synergize, one shall chase a thousand, two shall chase 10,000. It is true we intercede for one another. It is true we pray for the sick. It is true we lay our hands upon the upon people to transfer anointing upon them. Granted, but you must have a personal relationship with God. Don't depend on people's prayers. Pray for yourself. Don't depend on people's anointing. Crave an anointing for yourself. My children don't pass through one another to reach me. They come to me directly. Forget your past. Forget your mistakes. Forget your color. Forget your inadequacy. You are good enough to have direct access to God. Just imagine that we needed to pass through people like our House of Representative members, our councillors, our local government chairmen. We will not have been able to access God. Even to enter military school in Nigeria, you need to know a major general before you can get access to the military. Um, positions are allocated. God does not allocate positions like that. He, he knows us. If it is by qualification, if it is by character, intrinsic goodness, I wouldn't be who I am today. I was sharing with somebody the kind of background I come from. God cleansed me himself. Now listen, when Jesus was on the cross, when he said, Father, why have thou forsaken me? Listen, when God turned his face from Jesus Christ, he turned towards us. He turned towards us. We became his female sons and his male sons. He reaccepted us. And then when there was darkness in the earth, his light beamed into our hearts. What a privilege. What a joy that we can have direct access to God in heaven. If it is by technological development, Africans won't reach God. If it is by buying data to communicate with him, many poor people can't have access. If it is through network, many village people won't hear from God. God is merciful. And I thank God for the death of Jesus Christ on Calvary and the veil tall. We can see him, we can relate with him. Don't mind all these uh, preachers that are exaggerating that they saw God's face. You can't see God's face, you will die. You can't see him face to face, you will die. Even Moses did not see him like that. God bless you, I remain your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. Send a message to me on plus two, three, four, seven, zero, five, two, one, three. Six seven six three. God bless you.